Sigma. Why do you make packaging so hard? All right, I am super excited. Today I will be unboxing, not a subscription box. This is a purchase I made for myself that I have been wanting to do for quite some time. However, it's very expensive. And they were having a sale and I'm a wee bit of an online shopaholic and I couldn't resist. I am going to unbox my very first Sigma brush purchase. Yes, I know. Everyone in the world's like, and I have Sigma brushes. I have never owned a Sigma brush. Correction, I believe it was either a BoxyCharm or an Ipsy. One time we got a Sigma brush and I was so excited. So let's dig in. That's what the box looks like. It's just a generic brown box, but on top they provide a little, little catalog. First thing, it looks like they sent me a little sample size of Sigmatic Brush Shampoo. Okay. Because I will be brushing, or excuse me, I will be washing the brushes before I use them for the first time. remember ordering this. Sometimes what I do when I shop online is I hate paying for shipping. So if what I intend to purchase doesn't reach the amount for free shipping, I actually spend more money to save on shipping. I know that's horrible, but usually it balances out. So this is the main thing I purchased which is the Sigma Beauty Cult Faves for a Face, which includes the Pro Flat Kabuki, the F, I'm oh, sorry, that doesn't say Pro, I can't read, the F80 Flat Kabuki, the F35 Tapered Highlighter, the E40 Tapered Blending, E25 Blending, and E30 Pencil. I spent quite some time on their website trying to shop because I knew I wanted uh, a brush to apply foundation and I knew I wanted uh, a couple of good eyeshadow blushes, a blending brush. And so I love shopping online but I like to be a little frugal with my money. And so it was back and forth between the individual brushes or do I get a set? And it turns out like three of the four brushes I wanted were in this set, so this was the most economical. All right. I also bought some freestanding brushes. Very nice packaging. And this is the F82, which is a more rounded um, style kabuki for face foundation and other items on your face. And this is the P82 precision round and I got this to um, do uh, concealer. I tend to use my finger but I've been watching um, other people on YouTube who use brushes and I thought let's give that a try. All right. And last but not least, what is this? This is a lip base professional makeup collection. Oh, is this a brush or actual lipstick? I honestly can't remember. It's Oh, is this a... I really need a lip liner. Please be a lip liner. Yay! Oh, the lid got stuck in the box. Which I hope it did. I hope a lip item doesn't ship like that. in the box. Okay, there it is. 
Lid On. This is Lip Base in Love Sick. Let's give it a swatch. Oh. This is a bit more Barbie pink than I normally would wear, but we'll make it work. I just swatched it. Pretty sure the hassle of returning, if they even would take a return, we will make this work. Um, sometimes if your lip is too dark, you can put a lighter and do a combination. So, okay. I am super excited. Um, let's open up and see about the brushes. This is the F82. Very dense, but soft. That would be good for stippling, maybe helping with contour. Excited. This packaging is lovely, but it is a pain to open. That took forever. Okay, this is the P82. Oh, she be dense. I wonder if it's too dense for under the eye. Feels, I don't know. I thought it should be a little fluffier, but we will find a use for this. Maybe, hmm. Oh, maybe it'd be good for concealer or primer on top of the eye. That's the beauty about brushes. Um, you can use a makeup brush for whatever you, whatever you'd like. They, they make them for specific application uses, but there's no law that says you have to use a blush brush to apply brush or an eyeshadow blush or an eyeshadow brush to apply eyeshadow. Use a brush however you'd like. Next, we have the kit. This one I'm excited about. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five brushes. Sigma. How do you make the packaging so hard? Okay. This will be good for putting on foundation. This I would use to apply highlighter. these three eyeshadow brushes. So this be good to pack on the lid. This is a little fluffier than I thought it would be as a crease brush. And then this will be good to get under the eyelashes. Or even if you needed more precise crease work. Okay. I'm excited. Um, I've always wanted to own Sigma brushes. Let me pull up the receipt because I honestly forget how much I paid. Alright, let's recap. I got my first ever order 
of Sigma brushes. The kit, the most wanted brush set, was $47.45. And that contained these five brushes, $47.45. Then I got the F82 Round Kabuki Brush. This was $16.25. The last thing was the P82 Precision Round Brush, which was $7. The Lip Base Love Sick was $2.10. Okay, now I don't feel so bad that I'm not in love with the, the color. It was $2.10. And then they provided a free sample of the brush shampoo. I'm excited. Um, Sigma brushes are expensive. However, when I shopped, this was post Christmas, and I want to say everything on the site was 30% off, 40% off, seven. It, there was a huge discount going on, which prompted me to check it out. And then on top of that, there was free shipping, and um, I had a discount code which gave me an additional 10% um, off. And so I saved $8.03. The grand total was $71.21, uh, which included $6.48 worth of tax. So, comment down below. Let me know, do you own Sigma brushes? Probably everyone does except me, but now I do. Um, Give a thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know what is your favorite Sigma brush. I'm a brand new YouTube channel, so I'm growing, trying to get more views, more people to subscribe, like, etc. So I really appreciate it that you're watching this video. See you next time.